I had this conversation with a couple of people the other day where we were talking about what exactly is the VRChat community and clout. Is it the dozen of role-playing groups? Is it the numerous dance clubs? Because by the way, some people were describing it, if it's not what I'm a part of, it's not the real community. As I'm coming into my newfound levels of micro clout in a bubble as small as VRChat, I'm noticing some interesting changes in social dynamics. Now this video is called VRChat Clout because VRChat is a social platform that doesn't have a real end goal. Instead, people with too much free time like me make all the assets, avatars, content, and 95% of everything else in this platform. If you were playing any other MMORPG, status would matter based off of your guild, raid accomplishments, or equipment. The trusted ranking system, or groups, or even the $50 kitbashed avatar you bought from Gumroad is not what gives you clout, but the value and cool things you give back to the people who either play or enjoy watching this game. Take this dude named Poyomi. Never met the dude, but seems like a nice guy. And if you weren't into VRChat, you'd have no idea who this guy is. But he grabbed avatar creation by the balls and single-handedly contributed to one of the biggest tools that VRChat creatives use today. It just so happens that when I step into this virtual world, I'm coming across so many people that have been building and maintaining a seemingly random internet subculture for years. It's like everyone is a niche internet micro celebrity in their own way. As the world has globalized communication, places are starting to feel more distant, but pockets of people are finding each other based off of common interests or niches. It just so happens that our niche is a social platform in VR. For the past two years, I've been posting videos here and there. No one has really given a f about me. So the same as reality. Neat. Now I've been running into instances where I meet some of you guys in public worlds or in many of the events I go to. I think people have this odd perception that I am this super socialized 24-7 personality with a huge ego. And you're right, I do have a huge ego. Joining a world with 10 of my homies and just enjoying their presence as I do work, watch a show, or research something is one of the neatest things about VR. It's like lunch recess in elementary school. Some kids would be talking drama, the other kids would be running around playing tag, and you're working on your pizza. But it's the feeling of being physically present in a group that's what draws and keeps people here. When playing a game like VRChat where you're blurring the lines between reality and parasocial, I can't really blame a lot of the top content creators for creating their own gated communities. I'm still somewhat enjoying running around all these event and public worlds while vibing and doing my own thing. I get to meet one or two of you, take a quick picture, shoot the shot, and be all good. I got to meet a couple of much bigger VR chat creatives and bless their hearts for never doxing because they can't walk around without being made into a show animal. Figuratively and literally. I don't know what a real community is. I don't know about VR chat clout, but I know I signed up for a position of publicity and scrutiny. It becomes easy to idolize some of your favorite creators, but remember, they all eat food, burp, and poop, just like you. The group system has changed the way people play VRChat forever by making communities accessible but more privatized. I play VRChat because of all the cool people and experiences I was able to engage with, but, but there's another part of me that feels like I'm becoming lonelier in this virtual world. Having achieved what some people have told me as success in the VRChat content creation space, I feel far from it. I meet a lot of YouTube and Twitch creators who have come up to me asking for advice on how to grow their channel and how to build a community, and I say to them, I don't f***ing know. Maybe it's because I've probably met the first 1,000 of my subscribers at least once when starting out with my interview series or the dozens of scripts I've scrapped, or even the hours I put in sitting behind a screen to carefully edit and curate every second of a video. As the world has become more globalized, that also means competition. And also, every single person has their own angle and objective, whether they know it or not. Or, man, I need to touch some more grass.